is good, what anime paint, what is good, yo, so guys, holy crap, um, I don't have a lot of time, which I feel very bad for just saying outright, but I really don't, and this controller is square, is actually trash, holy crap, I broke my square, um, I really do wish I could talk about this more, but, bleh, <sighs> Alright, Fire Force this week was interesting. I think it's going to be the first time we're actually going to see uh, a lot more characters push their limits. And that's always fun in my opinion when it comes down to just seeing where these characters are going to end up on the grand spectrum of power and just in general who is Top Gun or who is not as, you know, strong as we thought they were. But from just the preview alone, seeing my one of my favorite characters, the, the black guy with the fire swords and spears, seeing the preview of him, my days. It's even going to be uh, ridiculously animated next week. Everything looks hype, but just to give some backstory of this week, um, everything we kind of see is uh, explained throughout small inklings of what the characters remember who were there when this woman was present and from the people who actually think certain aspects of the sh uh, certain aspects of the oasis was created by her and because it was created by her she should probably want to come back sometime soon to see you know, just like how it's doing or how they are, you know, these animals are pretty optimistic of her just not being evil, not being someone that isn't trustable and all this different stuff. But what they don't understand is the fact of the matter, they haven't seen her and they were never really told what that thing was for. Besides the fact of the matter, she kind of wanted to supposedly save everybody from the calamity or like save or do something for everyone you know so to have something like this that supposedly could destroy everybody and give them you know that heaven sensation that the other ones are talking about wouldn't be too far-fetched and that is where i would kind of leave it at that but it doesn't seem to be the case, right? It seems like that is completely uh, a false way of looking at it because the link to a person who clearly has all good intentions in helping this place is willing to, um, she's willing to send out seemingly energy or some type of helpful vibe to help Shinra. So. If that is the case, it makes me really believe that they're not going to make her a bad character necessarily, unless it's a trick on, like a double way of tricking, you know, like, not only is she tricking her opponent into believing that she is this saint, or she's a good person to, that the animals have been saying she is, if she then winds up, uh, you know, needing Shinra to get inside or in a certain position so she can then send her link to him to activate it that could be her plan at the end of the day so she could be bad I'm just saying you should you got to be optimistic about this stuff because sure she's saying protect the forest but what do these guys want at the end of the day is to activate this thing that she supposedly created which then uh, you know garners the question can it be used for multiple different reasons or multiple different purposes if the bad team gets it will their way of trying to activate it do something bad and if Shinra gets in there and you know makes sure it doesn't activate will that be another way for her to be able to link it later or something I don't know but as of right now we are giving the idea that she's good like that she is the one that we should be trusting and whatnot so it's kind of hard to go against it with her wanting to protect the forest and all these animals that she clearly you know kind of gave some life to in the grand scheme of her uh, little scarf or like little 
black part of her costume that she ripped off and gave to them kind of made them important to her in in my eyes right like it's like a symbolic way of saying you're different than all the other ones and i want to make sure i remember that or i can identify you without just calling out for you i could just see you and i can identify you out of the ones that aren't as different as you so i don't know necessarily where they're going to take this but i do know that i did enjoy it and i'm looking forward to seeing more fire force because like i said more characters breaking their limits and you know getting ridiculously powerful is right up my alley when it comes down to these characters that we are looking at uh and then we got to just talk about the monkey in the room arthur <laughs> somehow knows pi at its fullest and i don't know if people are going to be angry with that or if people are going to be whatever with it but i think it's absolutely hilarious and kind of spot on because usually the geniuses of the world are kind got some quirky stuff about them right like they got usually something that they have experienced that makes them that uh, uh, capable of doing what they are doing and sometimes they don't even recognize it so it was interesting to see he's like oh yeah he's saying these really weird phrases like it seems like all the parts of the numbers he has named out or has like some type of saying for them so it's just it's just complete Arthurness, you know <laughs> like it's greatness of Arthur at its finest and you just kind of got to enjoy it while you can so regardless of all of that i honestly think this demon's going to be a, an amazing test for some of the other uh, members of the teams you know so the guy who shoots the rockets i think it's going to be a good push for him and the uh, new guy with all the swords and spears i think it's going to be a good push for him or at least see where he can actually push himself to go we don't even know if what he does soon is actually his full power or not but regardless of all that i hope you guys are having an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be when you're watching this i am your boy the anime g and i'm gonna have to get out of here now talk to me about anything that you guys want to talk about in the comments or that i did not uh touch over that you wanted to talk about i apologize but i gotta try to get one more video out and i think i can do it so with all that being said take care and peace